All right, Virginia, you've been a star for a long time. You know how the industry works in the entertainment business and the fashion industry. Are you with Julia on this mission? I'm so with her on this. And, I mean, if there's anything I can do to lend my support. But let me say that I started in this business when I was 18. Yeah. And there was so much of focus on my weight. And I, you know, was, I had curves, but I wasn't by any means... You know, when they say overweight, I always want to go over whose weight, right. you know? Right. And, oh, my God, there was always this pressure about, you know, lose, lose 10 pounds before the movie. It was always this magical number. And the thing is, they're still doing it to young actresses, no matter what their size. And, and I think a lot of these ads are not just making them look thin, they're making them look... Uh, deformed you know like the arm looks like a finger and and the legs are out of place and you know and they do it to celebrities on covers and and it really is it it it, it just it's not just sending a, a wrong message it really makes them feel really bad and I remember I mean I'm sort of like you know I always talk about my real age but I remember when I was a little girl and it was Farah in that red bathing suit and right. that famous poster and that made me feel terrible because I had kinky hair that wouldn't do the Farah thing and I had you know not little tiny breasts like hers and and I had thighs and I just oh god it was just a it was so prevalent because the, they were very, very into slim, slim women at that time. So it goes back and forth, and, and it has to be you so, just got to be true to it yourself. It has to be so tough, and it does seem so dangerous. The last time I checked, by the way, she's doing some good here. This online petition, petition Julia started has over 40,000 signatures on it, and she did get to meet with the editor of Seventeen Magazine. I want to read to you I love that. what That's they told progress. Showbiz tonight. So something is happening. The editor said, we believe that Julia left, understanding that Seventeen celebrates girls for being their authentic selves and that's how we present them we feature girls in our pages real girls in our pages and there is no other magazine that highlights such a diversity of size shape skin tone and ethnicity however they're not true. saying that they're changing anything I don't think that that's true and I don't think they're gonna change anything and and what's great about you airing her story is that we're seeing the way real girls feel and 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 real girls at all different sizes and you know, and if I could give some advice to them, I would say, don't buy that magazine. Yeah. You know, get your information elsewhere and stay true to yourself. Don't go on a diet. You know, don't try and look like something different than you are. And that's very hard for a teenager. Very hard. To do there that. is so much pressure, but particularly when the bombardment. She's a role model.